Hello, my people. Good day. I hope say my voice is coming out clear. Let me balance this thing a little. So, ah, can you hear me? Um, <laughs> um, guys, welcome to today's program. Um, if you are here for the first time, I will advise you to like my page and I will also advise you to share this video. Share everything that comes in um, because uh, nobody knows maybe Facebook may decide to wipe some. Um, nevertheless, I would like us to look into um, the video that I just streamed now. You know, Labour Party P2B Showore <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Emeka, good evening, my brother. Um, it's very funny. It's very funny that uh, I don't think that most of us has Alzheimer. You know the sickness they call Alzheimer, Alzheimer in German. I don't know what they call it in English. It's a sickness of uh, forgetting things, you know. You may forget yourself. Showore is now calling Peter Obi to become his vice. Can't you see that? Are we not moving forward? Yeah, Shere Baba! <laughs> Wonder shall never end. Wonders shall never end. I was watching how Shogore was pinpointing. You know, if I, I love you too, my brother. I was watching how Shogore was pinpointing the things they do even though using the name, the canoes, uh, whatever, as politics, um, demonstrating for you. Let me ask you people. I don't know how many of you that know Shogore. During the time of Jonathan. If you know what is demonstration. Hi, Osman. Greetings. If you know what is demonstration. If you know what is freedom of movement, Shoure enjoy those things under the government of Muhammad, under the government of Good Luck Jonathan. This present government we are suffering today. <laughs> Let me sit up. <laughs> Could I know this? Because this matter, don't read. This government we are suffering. Today, show a full put this government for power. Show a followed, make sure house was built for show by Tunumbu to make sure that Jonathan lose the election. Show a so uniform for students all over Lagos, Yoruba land every day. He lied them on the streets, demonstrating that God has sent Muhammad Buhari that will come and save Nigeria. Shuwore put Nigerian youths into this mess we are passing through. Do you know that? The demonstration that Shuwore demonstrated under Good Luck Jonathan, he never de demonstrated. 1% of it under the government that he followed, conclude, follow, follow men, follow baked, follow, follow, follow put into power. Do you know how many millions of Naira Shogure received under um, um, Good Luck Jonathan to make sure that nothing happens? Shogure lied against Good Luck Jonathan. Shogure Propaganda against Jonathan to the hell. So they, all allegations he gave to Jonathan, so they never brought out one evidence. So they said that good luck Jonathan give millions of naira to pastors. So they accused good luck Jonathan of a drunk of drunkard. So they, 
So Ore did a lot of evil, putting you and I in this mess that Fulani want to wipe Nigeria. Let me ask you one question. Before So Ore will stand to judge somebody, no point fingers, one, two, three, is pointing back at him. Has So Ore ever come out to tell Nigerians, I am sorry. I am sorry. I am not perfect. Human beings do do make mistakes. You know, I, 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 I misunderstand everything. I never knew that it would be like this. Has So Ore ever value you? Talk less of to apologize. Look at the arrogancy in him. He hasn't even ruled his kindred. This guy. I do tell the people, everybody that knows Showore, maybe most of you don't know him. I have been tracking Showore down right from Abiola's time. Showore is Abiola's boy from Abiola to Tunumbu. I am not joking. I don't do propaganda. What I do is facts. If you want, tomorrow I will publish the whole videos. I will even publish video where Showore is celebrating Muhammad Buhari. That they have win. Good luck, Jonathan. Yes. If you would like, even though the pictures, I will show you Abiola and I will show you Showore. Every corner where Abiola is, where Showore is hanging around Abiola. He's still in university by then. Look at Showore coming out to call out Peter Obi that have created. Millions of jobs in Nigeria. Once a governor that saves millions of naira for his state, Shoure is accusing him the same way. He's coming now with the same propaganda he used against good luck Jonathan. But let me ask you, did you hear from Shoure's mouth that Tunumbu is too old to become Nigerian president? Did you hear one word, one comma, no comma zero, condemning Atiku and Tunumbu that they are too old to power Nigeria? That he was stabbing the most vibrant candidate in Nigeria today. Did you see it? I am not here to fight him. I have nothing personal. Only that I saw Abiola in him. The Abiola that said, I can do without Igbos is in him. So were they never respected during the time of Biafran agitation, during the time that the military attacked Nambe, during the time that military killed a lot of Igbo people, Sahara reporters refused to publish it. Now me, they tell you. By that time, everything that is going on, I built because of the thing that Sahara reporters did. I develop a news site. Go and check Miro African TV. Go if you see that site. By that time, I developed that site more than it is now. And I dash it to IPOB. I said, listen, IPOB, nobody will tell your stories. Whatever you are doing without your own news platform, you are joking. All these people are colluding. To destroy you. I told them. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I donated my website. I, I am the one that developed it. I'm the one that hosted it. I am the owner of the site. I said, go there, register, publish whatever that happened. I, I don't blow the key. Publish every evidence and videos you have. They, but the dear friends, they, they like to run to their enemies to tell their stories. Show a real Tell them, first of all, they have to. They first of all, give Biafran people um, condition that they have to update the stories that is too aggressive. After the people updated it, Sahara reporters said, no, they are not going to publish it. But he's now telling you how they visited the Namd, how they fight on your behalf, how this, how that. This guy is show. He's only doing show. Show will can never rescue Nigeria. The only person, the only person that can, that can do a little 
is P2B. Atiku has been there and came out. He didn't change anything. And even the time Atiku entered, Atiku government is the government that's supposed to tell Nigerians the constitution they are forcing us to use is military decree. We want to bring back democratic constitution of the federation. Did they do it? No. Because they know that the constitution would benefit them. They adopted it. Has Shouwore ever, ever came out to condemn Tunumbu? Look at Tunumbu. His master. Pissing old. Too old that he can't even control his urine. It's not sickness. I'm not cursing him. I'm not laughing at him. But it's sickness. That is old age sickness. Taking that man to rule Nigeria is punishment. Show were they supposed to speak against it. If he's there for you. But show were they allowing the grandfathers of the grandfather. Tunubu is the grandfather of Buhari. Buhari can even play football now. Tunubu can't even raise his left hand or right hand. He can't even hold anything. His body can't even control himself. He has what they call Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is, is, is old age disease. But if somebody is old, allow that person to rest. So that the younger ones will take care of him. But show where they saw them. The two people. Atiku, how old is Atiku today? Add eight years on top of Atiku. If he will be able to register what is going on around him. No. Tunumbu, add four years on Tunumbu. They will use which here, pushing him around. The only outstanding candidate to rule Nigeria today is Pitobi. And every Nigerian that have learned lesson is behind him. Pitobi is not sharing money. He didn't give me father. And he's not giving nobody anything. What he wants to give to you is what you desire. How you want your country to be. That is what P2B is after. But let me tell you, nobody will rescue Nigeria if you are thinking that P2B is Messiah. I have to tell you the truth. Nobody will rescue Nigeria. The only person that will rescue Nigeria is that candidate that will come out and tell you our constitution is not constitution. It's military decree. For us to move forward, we must abolish this constitution. We don't need to amend it. We don't need to tamper it. Only to dump it and bring back our 1953 constitution. Constitution that gives every region right to develop itself. Constitution that has no exclusive list. Constitution that gives state power to power themselves. To move themselves forward. No constitution that will ruin the life of people. And few handful people are the ones that will benefit. I know that a lot of Hausa boys are here. Most of you have watched the interview of um, 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 uh, Hamza Mustafa. I believe so. Did you hear what he said? How many people are controlling Nigeria, are eating the weight of Nigeria? He speak it in Hausa. I am not the one saying it. I don't do propaganda. If P2B will even choose Ham Mustafa, as his vice. <laughs> I will love it. Let him use that one to slap the mother fucking killer's machine of Nigeria. Look at Nigeria. Nigeria is not moving nowhere. Nigeria is not developing. The money the Ghana must go that Tunumbu is sharing in Nigeria. Has any you to ask yourself, what is Tunumbu working? That is generating such amount of money that he proposed in a willingly handed to Ghana must go to people. Election never reach you. Do you know where the money is coming from? If you have the heart of your people, it is the money of our people working in Lagos. Alaye Agburu are collecting this money from every Nigerian. Operating in Lagos State. If I'm lying, tell me that I'm lying here. Every area, alliance are moving around collecting money. That is the money that Tunumbu is sharing. They claim that Lagos State belongs to him and his family. Nigeria, money that they're supposed to invest, 
inside Nigeria for the country to move forward. The money they're supposed to, they're supposed to invest so that business will not be stuck in only Lagos. Business will flow to east, west, south, north, and everywhere. No, they seize everything. And there is a book. I told you people, any book you want to read, there is out there for sale. Give me the title. I will get it by God's grace. Free of charge. But it will be on PDF. There is a book I would like all of you to go and research. They call it In Biafra, Africa Dies. Check it on Amazon. In Biafra, Africa Dies. If you go and read this book, this book opened eyes to tell you when Yoruba, Hausa, and Fulanese went into agreement to seize Nigeria, excluding others. Yes. I'm telling you, even Hamza Mustafa, there is a book he wrote and he writes the people that are controlling Nigeria. As I'm talking to you, that book is being seized. The matter in the court is still inside court. They are fighting it. They don't want them, they don't want him to publish that book. For you to know that Mustafa knows a lot and he needs to come back to power so that some people will go to exile. Today, show Ure that food every youth into the mess of Muhammad Buhari today is out again. Not condemning Tunubu, not condemning Atiku. He has choose every Nigerian. If you want to succeed, if you want to move forward, if you want Nigeria to love you, you must go against the Igbo dream. Anything Igbo man is doing, if you go against it, Nigeria will love you so much. But let me tell you, show Ure. He's a criminal. Do you know that the money that, that his party made the first time he came out as, for, as president? Go and ask his followers, where is that money? That millions of naira that was generated. So we pocketed everything. Go and I don't talk blah, blah, blah. He's on air challenging our brother. I am not here to choose side, but I'm here to open your eyes. Both the ones following him, but the one saying that is the way. Go and research about this guy. He's not your friend. He's worse than the ones dealing with Nigerians. And he don't blow the key. He's fucking arrogant. While he has nothing. He hasn't even become, even though, a uh, counselorship. He hasn't even, even his family. I don't know whether he has the power to govern his family. Maybe the wife is the one leading he hasn't even know what is power, what is governance. Not then. He want to tell you, former governor. Do you know what is? Do you know what it takes to become a governor? How many governors have you seen that came after ruling? They are not senators. They are not whatever, and they are still living, standing their ground. It's only Pitobi. It's only Pitobi. Others are begging for food. Others are begging for food. Showore is using this state to generate fund. And <laughs> you may think that because he says something about Pitobi, that's why, because I'm an Igbo man, I'm attacking him. I just want to open his nyash. Go and look into it. Go and look into it. And uh, for my Muslim brothers that are here, I have a book. If you are interested, write me on my private message. Do you know the book they call The People? versus Muhammad. I have it now as PDF. It's over 30 something euros on Amazon. But if you need it, if you want to read about Muhammad, people versus Muhammad, you can write me. I will forward it to you. It's a very popular book that is drawing momentum. You know? So anybody that wants to, like a brother, there is a brother that write to me that he wants a book about Python programming. He just received his own today. If you know that you want to read any book, both Biafran books, go and check anyone you want to read, Biafran, Nigerian Constitution, anything in Nigeria. Uh, such one, I couldn't find it. That is the Federal Republic of Nigerian Army. That book has disappeared and disappeared forever. You know, the book 
that this book that I just mentioned now, the Federal Republic of Nigerian Army was released in 1953. And everything that conspired in Nigeria, both the Biafran War, has been already written in that book. How everything will happen, how everything, everything, both massacre, everything that happened in that war has been already written down to tell you it's already planned. So for those that want to know the rule that British played, the rule one that want to also understand the reason why, the reason that British is given to block the Igbos to get their independence, they say that Igbos will not survive on their own. That is the reason British is given. That's why they are not allowing the Biafrans to pull out of Nigeria. And they are also whitewashing the genocide that conspired in Igbo land. In those books, you will find everything. I said once again, if you want to, this platform is Ebano. Ebano for those that want to read. If you are going to school and you are buying a lot of things and uh, you know that uh, they are selling it online, reach me and you will get it free of charge. So thank you once again, my people. I just want to come in to, you know, uh, I need the Nigerian army. I said the Nigerian army book is nowhere to be found. Let me say it once again, you know, Sunday. That book is nowhere to be found. Nigeria has killed that book. It's not existing, you know. So that's all I have for you, my people. I think I have dropped a little, you know, um, for you to go and do your research about Shogore and uh, his concussion. He's not a good guy. If you are following him, it's the best time for you to switch. Shogore is not your friend, and he can never be your friend. <laughs> he can never be your friend. I'm telling you the gospel truth. But one thing I will promise you. One thing I will promise you, whosoever that eat with Nigeria, hmm? whosoever that eat with Nigeria, and let that one to bite the finger of Nigeria, always dies. The only ones that survive are Igbos. But if you are from another tribe, you eat with them, and they want to work against them, they do kill them. I'm not making any prediction, but I'm just saying my mind. You need Python programming. Um, on this page now, you can be able to write me like message, not comment. Comment is different. Write me on my inbox me. Let me use the word inbox me. Drop your email address. I will forward and you write the title of the book you want. I will now get it and forward it to you. Thank you, my people. God bless you. Remember, bless. God will always bless the Igbo people wherever they find themselves. Why did I say Igbo people? Because if they tell you to count people, oh boy, me, one, then you count another one, two. Okay? So, God should bless our people because they have suffered a lot in the hand of Nigeria. And I'm telling the Igbo people, what I have seen in Nigeria and some things that I'm seeing in some books, Igbos, living in Nigeria, Igbos are not Nigerians. Igbos are living in Nigeria because Nigeria overpowered the Igbo people and occupied their territories. <sighs> That's all I have for you. Thank you, my people. Remain blessed and share the video. If you are here for the first time, like my page, share the videos, and let's move the place forward. If you have anything to chip in, if I use the wrong word and you want to challenge me, boom, it's open. Come in. Let's tango. I love tangling. <laughs> Ciao, my people. Bye-bye.